Hello friends, welcome back to my vlog. Today it is December 15th and it's around almost 1 p.m. already so I'm starting the vlog off kind of late. I know I have not done a really great job consistently vlogging these past few weeks or in general. I try to do so when I have like a really fun weekend planned out but truthfully I've just been so busy this week as well. Um, but I thought this weekend I have a lot of fun plans. I think I'm going to make this into like an extended weekend thing because I have stuff all the way through I believe like Tuesday. So um, we'll see. I'll figure out where I'm going to end the vlog. But for today's activities, um, I'm working today so I still have that. I'm a little bit sick as you guys can tell. Um, but I ordered some stuff from Sephora and also Zara that I wanted to show you guys later in this vlog. Um, Zara, I did a huge like winter haul because I'm going to Amsterdam at the end of this month so I needed some sweaters and some cute things for that trip. And then from Sephora, I ordered the Dior lip oil which I've actually never tried which is quite interesting because I am a huge Dior beauty lover. And um, I also ordered the Charlotte Tilbury um, contour stick so I wanted to try that out for you guys and yeah that's my plan for today um it is just a thursday after all so i'm still going to be working and kind of more of a low-key day um i have some really fun plans though this weekend that i wanted to share with you guys so that's why i thought today would be a really great day to start the vlog so with that let me take you guys along with me for my day also i wanted to do an update on my dining table i don't think you guys have seen the new setup of it or just the new decor rather so these candlesticks they are from h m home as well as the candle holder and then i have this like really pretty kind of dying now bouquet of christmas flowers that someone had sent me um but my friend recently just got me some artwork that I'm going to put right here that I'll show you guys shortly. Isn't this so cute? She knows me so well. I love the Matisse inspired artwork. And this is from his like Papier de Coupe collection. Um, and I just think it's so cute and so Parisian looking. And I can't wait to put this behind my dining table. For anyone that's wondering where she got it, I think she got it at Society6. And they gave like a little coupon code and stuff. All right, friends, this is my outfit of the day. I have been wearing this black sweatsuit outfit for literally this entire week and it's already Thursday I obviously have not been feeling well this week. So this is the outfit that I've been living in um, So my sweatpants are from TNA Aritzia. I have a matching sweatshirt underneath this jacket that is also just all black I'm wearing literally all black today, and it's also from Aritzia. My puffer is actually from Amazon I can link it if you guys are interested. I wanted like a cheap puffer to like go out in in New York City on the weekends. Turns out it became very very useful so now that I know I wear short puffers so much when I go to Amsterdam I may buy a Montclair one haven't fully decided yet going to see what inventory they have and then um, I am wearing my acne Studios scarf which I love keeps me so warm and yeah let's go run some errands just came back from my errand run I am sweating like visibly feel sweat dripping down my body right now but I wanted to show you guys what I got um, this is like part of the reason why sometimes I really just like the cold is because I just feel like I'm constantly oscillating between hot and cold I went to Sephora picked up a few goodies um, I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand that everybody uses and raves about. I just wanted like a darker contour for my face um, because I don't feel like my face gets contoured very well right now. And then, oh, this is already open, but I got the Dior Lip Addict um, Lip Glow Oil in the color Mahogany. Let's hope it's actually mahogany. Ooh, yes, mahogany. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna test this one out right now, why not? We are up close and personal to my face right now, but let's test out this mahogany lip oil. Everybody raves about this, so I just like, whoa, it's so oily. I want to know what the hype is. Is it supposed to like make my lips really smooth? Ooh. Oh, I love the applicator. This applicator is so soft. Oh, that might be too much.
Okay, here's a better lighting of the Dior Lip Glow. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if it was worth the full price of it. It's definitely, the applicator is really soft and smooth. Like, it's probably one of the best applicators I think I've ever used on my lips before. Um, it's very sticky. Like, you can see how it, like, sticks together in the camera. Um... The color is very sheer though, which I expected, but it's even sheer than I had expected. Like I thought this one would give me more of like a brownie tint. Um, in fact, the lip oil, or sorry, the lip glow, just the glow, that one I think has more pigment than the lip glow oil. I think this one is very good as like a topper and it's definitely shinier, but the coloring is very sheer and actually this brown one is like a my lips but better color. Separately guys, I got a huge Zara order so I'm going to unbox this right now with you guys and see what I got. First thing I got, I got this like blue sweater moment. Ooh, it's very cute, very soft. It has a little hint of brown on the bottom so this is the first thing that I bought. Second thing I bought is another sweater. Surprise, surprise, I'm in a blue mood. Um, and this one's also very soft and oversized as well. This one's a little bit itchier. I gotta try this on. Third thing I bought is this really pretty lace overlay dress. It has this like, oh, I'm wearing black so you can't really tell, but this like really pretty like lace applique material here. Um, and it's like, kind of reminds me of like a Wednesday Adams dress. A very girly Wednesday Adams dress. Um, I also got in the same type of thing. Ooh, this is like a, another kind of like lacy top, but this one has like more flower, like floral applique detailing on it. I don't know if you guys can tell. I shouldn't have worn black. You can clearly not see anything that I'm showing. So, yeah, this is cute. And then I got a black and white knit dress that I thought was cute and I also got a pleated short skirt so we'll try this on and then the last thing I got oops, is a pleated black skirt so same thing um, these two are the exact same so I'm gonna try these on and see if I like them and figure out what to keep what to not keep because I spent about like $500 at Zara so that's a little ridiculous I would say okay very impromptu try on haul because I figured why not this is the first top I got it's very boxy I'm not wearing a bra with it right now and I'm wearing leather shorts I thought the leather shorts and like boxy sweater look would look better on me but it doesn't look the best like I wanted to wear this in Amsterdam with this and tights and then like tall boots or also like short I have short combat ish boots or like what are they like the chunky boots um I do like this sweater it's not scratchy at all and I actually really like the material of it okay I am definitely returning this one this one is way too big on me and it just makes me it almost looks like a dress at this point but without it actually being a dress Okay, so this like Wednesday Adams inspired dress is super cute on. Wow, I really like this dress. The lace applique is so just like feminine and it fits so well on. This is the small and yeah, I really like this one. I think I'm definitely going to keep this one. The only issue was the buttons to do this one up was extremely difficult, but this is a perfect like work dress too. So I can wear this to like the office. Okay, wait, so I love this dress. I think it looks so classy on. I was not expecting to like this dress as much as I do, but this is also a fantastic work dress. Okay, but wait, I love this. Look at this. This is like, I'm really into recently this like goth chic. I'm not like into gothic looking like clothes, but like the ones that are like very bridally gothic. Like this is beautiful. Holy shit. Like I love this. This is what the detailing of the shirt looks like. I know I didn't really do a good job showing you guys when I first pulled it out of the box, but I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, the low-rise trend has been super in recently, and these are some low-rise pleated skirts. I don't know if you can see the detailing because it's black and the lighting isn't the best right now, but 
It's pretty cute actually. This is one tried and true sweater of mine that I have. It looks really cute with the black. I like this. I like that it's really short. It's pleated. It's cute. Doesn't give me any like fat rolls or anything like that. For my friend's 90s themed party, I could just wear this, honestly. Um, this would be cute. It's like mesh, very 90s-esque, um, and then pleated skirt, low rise, 90s-esque. And then if I really wanted to, I could also throw on my Gentle Monster Sunnies and make it like a Britney Spears moment and then put my hair up into like pigtails. Enjoy my breakfast. Welcome to my vlog. Today it is, I believe, the 16th. Yeah, December 16th. And I have a call in about like 20 minutes. I've been doing work um, from like 8:30 this morning till now. And um, I haven't showered yet, so I need to do that. But I've been doing some laundry, I've been putting away some stuff, and then um, I'm gonna eat my breakfast now, jump on my call, and then hopefully there's not much to do after that call. Um, but I really want to get my nails redone today. They are looking tragically long. Um, I know most people like long nails, but I just cannot function. I cannot function with long nails like this. This is more than four weeks, I think. But none of them have broken, so if you're interested in where I go, I go to Nail Spy in Tribeca. And yeah, so that's what I want to do. I have a holiday party later for my building just downstairs, which will be really cute. It's like catered food and stuff. And then tonight I'm going to Ye's Apotheke with two friends of mine um, just to catch up and get drinks and that's pretty much it. Okay friends, I am fresh faced. I have just finished showering and I'm going to get ready now. I'm going to do some light makeup because I'm likely going to have to retouch it before my holiday party tonight. Um, but I want to go run some errands. I just want to return some stuff at Zara, some of the items from yesterday's haul. And then also I want to go get my nails done. I have an appointment at Four. I have on these uh, gel eye patches that I popped into the fridge before I put them on my face. They are by the brand Hymish or Hemish. This is their Hydrogel Eye Patch Bulgarian Rose Water, and I think this is a really popular brand in Korea, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so starting off with my base, I'm going to actually, I think I want to just keep my eyes pretty natural for now. Um, but I want to put on some primer. So I'm going to throw on the Dior Forever Skin Veil. Uh, let me take off my eye patches. I've been wearing them for like 10 minutes now, I would say. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my face. Um, it just provides like a nice little base coverage. And it comes out with like a hint of color as well. Okay. Primer is done. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of foundation. Just for now, I use the Chanel Ultra Latente Velvet. I think they have a new packaging of this one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I hope they didn't, you know, uh, discontinue this. Ah, yikes. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit on because I'm likely going to have to add more later. And I just am going to dab it around some of the red areas of my face. So next I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury like color corrector. This is in the color medium and it's like an orangey salmon color. And I use this underneath my um, eye for my dark circles because I have pretty extreme dark circles if you can tell. Um, and I try to cover them up. Although nowadays I feel like people are leaving their dark circles as like a trend. I'm gonna take my Dior Skin, what is this? Forever Skin Correct Concealer and I'm just going to lightly put this over my face in some problem area. So focusing it here and here, here and here. 
try to like lift up my eyes a bit and then everybody's been putting it like on their cheek like right underneath their cheekbone area I'm not gonna blend that one out yet and then I would normally put it by my nose but I'm probably gonna blow my nose a bit more throughout the day until I go out tonight so I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna take my Chanel dual ended concealer brush and just kind of like buff in or pat in rather these concealer spots here All right, friends, moment of truth. I am so late on jumping on this bandwagon. Everybody else has already done this. I do use the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This is in their Peach Gasm one. I do want their Pink Gasm, but I'm gonna try out the contour one today. And so I'm going to open it. And these get a little bit messy, so I'm going to have to like just do a little and then close it, I think is what I heard you're supposed to do, and then dab it onto your face. So I'm gonna do it where all my low points would be. Like that on this side. So I'm gonna take an angled brush. Again, this is from Real Techniques, I think. I don't really use like any fancy brushes, honestly, besides my, um, Chanel ones and I'm just going to like dab it first to see how this looks Now we're gonna take the glowgasm one and this is like so messy you can tell it gets so messy on this like it's like all over my tube but I'm just going to dab it in these areas and I'm just using some leftover from last time that is still on this sponge so I'm done with my face I just need to do a little bit of brows which I will do right now Then I'm going to take some of the Huda Beauty powder and I'm just going to put this onto my face like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add peach eyeliner onto my bottom like waterline area. I'm going to take a brown uh, eyeliner this is just from pixie and I'm just going to kind of just add in a little bit at the end here I'm going to take an eyeliner brush and kind of like blend it out or smudge it out a bit I'm also ooh, I'm gonna add on the Dior lip oil this is in the cherry or the mahogany color oh it is so oily though. I hate that it gets onto the tube. Spritz my face a bit. Let the makeup set in. Put all my stuff away and I am done. Hello friends, I am back from running all my errands. I have returned my stuff from Zara, which I'm very happy about um, because returning things is like the bane of my existence. And I've also gotten my nails done. So I got this like baby white with a hint of pink backsplash with some uh, glitter in it. So these are the holiday nails. They have a hint of glitter to them and they're just like this like white offish baby pink color. And I absolutely love them. Hey friends, this is my final look. It's a little bit more dramatic. I'm obviously wearing more eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna figure out what jacket to wear, but I'm gonna head to Ye's Apothecary. I wanted to do a few like outfit of the night details. I'm literally wearing this chunky sweater to the bar. Like it's a speakeasy, so um, I'm wearing this chunky Zara sweater to the bar. I'm wearing like literally like Aritzia, what are these? The um 
the effortless pants and then as for jewelry I'm wearing like these really cool uh, earrings that I got from some type of bridal boutique actually these are for like weddings but I thought it was really pretty I love like the little like sun detail and then as for jewelry I'm wearing my Cartier um, my Cartier love ring my Cartier just in clue and then also my uh, Van Cleef and Art Pals mother of pearl five motif and yeah <laughs> It is a beautiful sunny day today in New York City. Look at this weather, it's so different, wow. It was like raining the past few days. And look at my orchids, they're blooming again. I accidentally um, ripped this guy off. I'm like really sad, I hope he still grows, but he was growing. This one is thriving, this one has an offshoot here and also an offshoot off of this one. Like this one started off with two and now it has three growths. I also have another guy here who is doing very, very healthy. I need to water him, but I want to um, repot this guy, which I will do this weekend as well. And then over there, I just have like a eucalyptus that's dried up, but yeah. So for my friend's birthday slash promotion, I got her a bottle of Vove, and this has gone up in price so significantly. This bottle was like 80 bucks. And I also just made some ramen, which I'll show you guys. This is my homemade house ramen, and yes, I made those eggs. 275 air fryer. That's how you can get those yolks to be slightly runny, but kind of hard. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's Sunday. I think it's December 19th. I just placed an online grocery delivery for tomorrow morning um, before work just because it will be a busy week. But this week, honestly, I think I'm eating out like every single night of the week, I think, except maybe Thursday and Friday. But um, it's the holidays coming soon. So Literally Monday, I might get dinner with like my cousins and my sister. Tuesday, I'm going to like this like comped dinner thing um, for like a influencer event. And then Wednesday, I'm taking my associate out to dinner um, through the company card and stuff. So I think I have like plans every single day to like eat out. But anyways, today I need to get up soon. It's like almost... 12 I want to say or it's like almost 11 something and I want to make some breakfast I've been having this like massive headache that comes and goes but it's been this entire weekend so I think I'm finally going to take some medicine for it just because I can't operate like this and I don't think I'm hungover like I had tequila vodka oh no tequila champagne I just had tequila and champagne yesterday so I didn't have too many weird things mixed together um, and it wasn't like that much champagne, so yeah. Um, and then I went to my friend's place yesterday for her birthday slash promotion party and then went to see my friends in Soho and just like played with her dog and did a puzzle and then I had a headache and I had to come home. And I was very proud of myself. I took off my makeup and everything and yeah. So um, today I'm supposed to go to an Emily in Paris pre-screening and then I'm taking my friend out to Nougatine at John George for her early, early birthday. Because I won't be here for her birthday. I'll be in Amsterdam. Um, so yeah, that's my plan for the day. I really need to get up. My head hurts so badly though. So I just like kind of want to lay for like another 10 minutes. And then I'll start getting ready. All right, as I'm getting ready, I'm going to pick out my jewelry. I think I'm definitely going to wear my bracelet. And of course, my two rings that I always wear. This is the overall makeup and just overall like jewelry look. Um, I have on these pearl earrings that I got from Mexico City in like this really cute little bohemian boutique. And then as for my outfit, 
I hope I'm not cold in this outfit, um, but I'm wearing like a button up with an, uh, like a chunky white sweater over it and then some white shorts. I'm kind of like testing out my outfits for Amsterdam basically and to see if I can withstand the cold here because these are likely the outfits that I plan on wearing for Amsterdam. I also got fleece lined tights, but I didn't want to wear that in a theater for so long because I'm going to get so hot. Ooh, also one tip that I recently learned about putting on perfume, and if you guys don't know, the perfume that I use is the Byredo Bal de Afrique. This is like my tried and true um, perfume. I'm gonna do this with like one hand, but I heard that the best area to spray it is behind your neck because that's where like when you're walking and you smell someone. Oh, I just sprayed it in my hair accidentally. Don't want to do that. Um, that's where people usually will smell it from. Clearly, I cannot do this with one hand. I'm gonna set you guys down like that. Um, but yeah, apparently if you spray it on the back of your neck, and I actually like spraying it on the sides of my neck too, just like a little bit, because I find that that is where like the smell lingers more. Um, so yeah. home it's like a little bit past midnight now um i just got back from dinner at john george well nougatine at john george with my friend and it was amazing the dinner was spectacular um but i am going to wash up now and head to bed it's like 12 14 i have to double check when my first call is tomorrow but this is grind week for me i need to make sure i get everything done and i also really want to go to the gym this week because i haven't gone in weeks at this point um so hopefully i make those plans tomorrow but i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye guys